Hey guys, so today I'm going to do, do a makeup tutorial using the um, Tarte Live in Bloom palette. I've had this for a few weeks and I, I love this palette. I've been meaning to do a tutorial with this ever since I bought it. Um, and instead of doing a voiceover like I typically do with my tutorials, I'm just going to do a chatting, um, kind of chat through, what do they call these videos, talk through? chatty, get whatever they call them. That's what I'm going to do. Um, I always default to voiceover videos because they're easier to edit, in my opinion, um, just because you can just sit down and do your makeup and then you can just voice over it at the end. But um, And these videos tend to be extremely long, so that is another reason why I shy away from them. But I was at the gym today and I was like on the treadmill for an hour watching videos and I just really realized that I like the more chatty kind of talk through tutorials. Um, I don't know, they're just more entertaining. I feel like people come to YouTube, some people come to YouTube for help with makeup and, and look, looking for tutorials, right? But I feel like a lot of people connect with people on YouTube and they just like to watch, you know, people that they feel this connection with. At least I do. Um, and so I thought this is a better way to connect with you guys. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started because this video will be an hour if I don't. Okay, so I am first gonna start with just spraying my skin with a little bit of this um, Glow Mist by Pixie. Kathleen Lentz talked about this in one of her videos, um, maybe about a month or so. I think I feel like I've had this for about a month, and I went and picked it up that day, and I really like it, especially this time of year because my skin's real dry, and this gives it a little bit more luminosity, more hydration. I have nothing on my face right now, as you can probably tell. I look a little scary. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put that in. I do have moisturizer on that I already put on. Um, but I am using, I'm gonna show you guys a cool new trick with foundation that I have been doing. You guys know that I love the Makeup Forever HD Invisible Stick. This was in my best of 2015 videos. Um, I love this foundation, I think it's gorgeous. I'm gonna see how I feel about it come summertime though because it is a luminous foundation. Um, and in Texas it's very hot, so hopefully I don't feel like I'm a big sweaty mess when I wear this in the summertime. Um, it's full coverage and I really like full coverage but you have to be careful not to apply too much of it. Uh, for me, I, I apply a very little amount um, and then I just blend it out because I get a great coverage just from that amount. I've seen people on YouTube like cover their entire face and then go out and blend it and it looks amazing on camera but I'm kind of terrified of what it looks like in real life because it just has to look like you could take your fingernail and just scrape through it. Um, so one thing I've been doing is I've been doing this foundation and I mix it with a little bit of the NARS Sheer Glow. What I'll do is I'll put the Make It Forever Stick like this and then I'll put the Sheer Glow more in the center of my face. Um, this foundation is not as full coverage as the HD stick so it kind of gives it um, I don't know, it just kind of balances it out nicely. And I won't use a lot of this, okay? I just use a little bit. I am all about less is more these days. I used to like cake on the foundation, but not anymore. Um, when I do, my skin just looks old. And I'm just buffing this out with the Real Techniques brush, the sculpting brush. So I'll go and I'll blend out that Makeup Forever stick first. Right, I'll go and blend that out. Then I will go and blend out that sheer glow. I like to kind of press it and cover my skin, like cover a full area of my skin and then go out and... But I really like this combination because if I do too much of the stick, it's too heavy. I'm just gonna say it, it's too heavy. I'm just gonna be real. Sometimes I watch people on YouTube and the makeup looks amazing. They're incredibly talented. But when I watch them put on their foundation, I'm just like, oh my gosh, that's so much. They are also like 10 years younger than me though, and I remember when I was that age, I could wear a lot of foundation and it didn't, my, my, make, my skin didn't look aged. But I feel like the older you get, not that I'm old, but you know, once our skin starts to develop texture, you don't want to put too much product because it just magnifies that texture, right? So that's my two cents. Okay, for concealer, I'm going to use this True Match, um, this new True Match L'Oreal Super Blendable Concealer. I got this at HEB today when I was grocery shopping. Um, it has a little brush, so it's not like a dope, but it's actually like a little brush. Um, I'm going to put this underneath my eyes. And I got the shade Fair Light. I'm gonna kind of pull it down too for highlighting purposes. This is pretty light and I bought this with the intention of using it as a highlighter also. I'm gonna keep that in my purse because usually halfway through the day I look in the mirror and I look tired um, and this is a great like way to pick me up 
and kind of give my skin that brightness again midway through the day. I'm just blending it out with a damp Real Technique sponge. I do like this concealer, I think. Like I said, I just got it today, so I really don't know how this wears, but it blends really nicely. Right. For bronzer, I'm gonna use my Soleil Tan de Chanel uh, Cream Bronzer. I've been using this, I've had this for a while, and I was using it a lot when I first bought it, and then I kind of put it aside, and I've been picking this up and using it again. I really like applying it with this 109 brush by MAC. You can see it's just a rounded, short, and dense, and small, like little, like miniature blush brush is what it looks like. But it's perfect for this product because it's fluffy, so it doesn't really pick up a lot of product. So when you put it on your skin, it just looks really natural. I mean, it doesn't even look like makeup. You can't even see it on your skin. You just see like a bronzed glow. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this stuff. Like on days that I don't wear foundation, I'll always put this on because it gives my face some dimension, but it looks very natural and it like sticks to the skin since it's cream. You know, if you're not wearing a foundation, you try and apply powder products, especially if, if you have dry skin, it's just gonna disappear. This will sit on your skin without foundation really nicely. I'm just gonna kind of bring it down here on my jawline too. Okay. Okay, next I'm going to set everything really lightly with Makeup Forever Invisible HD powder. And I'm just using a 129 brush by MAC. Ooh, that's a lot. And I'm really just gonna set kind of the center of my face where I normally get oily. For brows, I did apply a brow, the Brow Fix by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And now I'm gonna go in and shape my brows with the Brow Pomade. And I'm using um, taupe, that's the color I use, is taupe. When I purchased this, the um, gal at Nordstrom told me to put the lid on immediately after getting the product because it dries really quickly and she told me to just put the product on the lid of the um, container and work off of that and so that's what I do and when I'm done I'll just swipe all that off so I don't have like the big cakey mess of product on my on my product So I was thinking about making this a Valentine's look, but I realized that I'm not quite sure how long this is going to take me to edit and get up on my channel. And I don't know if I'll have it up by Valentine's Day, so I'm not calling this a Valentine's makeup look. Although it would be really pretty for Valentine's Day. I'll try and get this up before. I am gonna film a couple of other videos tonight, and if those are quick more, if I can edit those more quickly, I will probably do those first and upload this last. Hope you guys have fun plans for Valentine's. We used to always plan something, like it was always important to me to plan something for Valentine's Day, but I don't know. I think the longer we're together, the less we really celebrate. It sounds bad. We celebrate, but we don't like go all out on Valentine's Day um, because I'm always disappointed. Like. We'll make reservations somewhere and we'll go and it'll just be terrible. It's like these restaurants like pack in. I remember the last place we went, it was a really nice restaurant. And we went and they had like doubled, or I don't know if they doubled their seating, but it seemed like they had like packed in more tables. So we were all crammed in these little tables and they were super fast. The service was really fast, which I didn't really like because we were in and out of there in like 45 minutes and it was a really nice restaurant. It's like. No, I want to go and I want to be here for two hours, two and a half hours, and then make it a full night. I don't want to spend $200 on dinner and be gone in 45 minutes. That's crazy. And that's, that's what I feel like Valentine's Day is. So we are going out to dinner with friends on Saturday night. There's going to be a group of us. Um, there are three, three couples, so there'll be six of us. What do you guys want for Valentine's Day? I think I want the Natasha Denona eyeshadow palette. Um, I heard about them through Kathleen Lights months ago, I guess. She was the first person I heard talk about them. 
and I thought, okay, like I can pass, right? Like I'm not gonna spend $240 on an eyeshadow, eyeshadow palette. And then I heard Jaclyn Hill talk about them, and then I heard like Nikki Tutorials talk about them. I'm like, okay, gosh, everyone is saying how great these are. So I was on the website last night, and I was finally going to get down to buy myself one, and they were all sold out. Like they had a couple that weren't, but they were colors that I would never use, so. Okay, so let's get started on eyes. So for eyes, I'm gonna start with priming my um, eyelid with my, what do I normally prime my eyelid with? My, my paint pot, where'd you go? There you are. I'm using um, Soft Ochre by MAC. Okay, so next I'm gonna start with shadow. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do like a taupe kind of smoky eye from this palette. I really like this palette a lot. I'm gonna hope that it'll blind you with this mirror. But it has, um, can I count, 12 eyeshadows? And it's a good range of shimmer and matte shadows. There's more matte than shimmer in here, which I like. Um, there are some cool tone, but there are some warm tone shadows as well. So it's a pretty versatile palette in that sense. Um, but there are some really great shades here for like outer corner or eyeliner. Great shades for highlighting. Um, it's just a really great palette. I actually prefer this one over the first one that they came out with, which was just the original Tartlet. That's a great palette too, but those are all mattes. And I like that this has shimmer because I usually always like to incorporate some shimmer into my look. Um, for this, I'm just going to take the lightest color, it's called Charmer, and I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyebrow. It's a really soft highlight. I'm going to go back with the shimmer, it's going to get a little more intense, but we'll start with that. Then next I'm going to go in with the shade Rocker, which you can see right here is just like this really pretty, um, get this on the camera for you, really pretty kind of taupey, shimmery shade. Um, and I'm gonna pack it on with a 239 brush by MAC. So I'm gonna put this um, all over my eyelid except the inner corner. I'm gonna leave the inner corner bare because I'm gonna pop a lighter shade there to highlight. So we're just gonna pick this guy up and pack him on my eyelid. Well, I posted a video, a few videos back about lashes and mascara and products that I'm loving. I cannot get over that lash serum that I talked about. It is amazing stuff. If you have tried lash growth serums and you haven't found one that you love or that really works, try this one. It's called um, Nutra Lash. Check out my video that I posted on um, how to get big lashes. Like my lashes, I wish I had taken a before picture because they were so, so horrible. They were so short, so thin. They were, oh, they were terrible. And I just can't get over how much they've grown and how far they've come. Okay. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade called Jet Setter, which is this matte shade here to transition. And I'm gonna pop that in my crease and blend upward. go in with, what am I going to use? Okay, I'm going to take a pencil brush, a 219 by MAC, and I'm going to pick up this shade called Funny Girl. It's just this shimmery shade here. i pick that up and pop that right in my inner corner, just right here. To brighten up that area. I'm also going to take that shade with the same brush and I'm going to put that right underneath my eyebrow. It's a little darker than I would like for, I think, underneath my brow. Just a little too, I don't know, I want to lighten it. So I'm going to take Charmer again and I'm going to go on top of that. Charmer's just really sheer, like it's really soft and sheer. So that alone didn't give me enough. The combination of the two work really well though. Next, I'm gonna go, I'm feeling like I need more, I want more. So I'm gonna take the shade called Leader, which is this like really pretty, rich, red, purple shade. Um, and I'm going to put that in my outer corner and um, blend upward into my crease. This color is really pretty. I, this is a unique color. 
Like I feel like I have, most of the shadow palettes that I have have very similar shadows in them. This color is pretty unique. Like I don't, I feel like I have it in a lot of other palettes. It's a really warm, like, liner color or outer corner crease color. Really, really warm. I really like this brush. This is the MAC 222. So doing this is going to make that color on the lid, that color rocker, pop more because it's giving it more of a contrast to it. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Next I'm going to go in and just kind of wipe away any fallout and brighten under the eye area. I'm going to use my good old trusty guy, where is he, Marc Jacobs um, Contour and Highlight Pal Palette. And I'm using a shade, it's the only highlight shade. And I'm gonna just kind of sweep away any fallout, and it's also going to highlight under my eye area. Okay, so for eyeliner, what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I'm gonna take this pencil, um, Bella Pierre gel eyeliner. I got this in a like an Ipsy bag or something like that. One of those bags. I didn't buy this. I'm gonna pop this right. Oh god, I'm terrible. This is embarrassing. Go right underneath my on my upper waterline, tight line. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to go on my upper line as well, lash line as well. And I'm not gonna be too careful about this because I'm gonna go and smudge this anyway. I just want to get product on there so that I can work with it and blend it out. I like this eyeliner a lot though because it's very soft and creamy. So you can work with it. There are some eyeliners that I've bought that are high-end eyeliners and they're creamy when I first open them, but then after a few weeks they dry out and it's like putting chalk on my eyes. It's really bad. It's so disappointing. I think my favorite ones are the Stila, Stila liners and also the Urban Decay. They have some really nice eye coals that are long wearing, like they're really soft and creamy so they go on really easily and you can work with them like this. But once they dry, they set so they don't move. That's the key. You wanna find one that's creamy but sets because sometimes if they're really creamy, they don't set and they're just a big like ugh, mess at the end of the day or not even at the end of the day, like 20 minutes later. And if they're too dry, then they just don't go on. They're like chalky looking, they're not consistent. Then I'm just gonna kind of take what's left on the product and pull out that wing. I feel so bad. I talked about this in a video a while back about like I call it like a baby wing. I don't like myself with winged eyeliner. I just don't like it. It's just too harsh for me. But I like this. I like like this baby wing. It's just taking coal eyeliner and a pencil and using an ankle brush and just sweeping out what's left on your on your brush and giving yourself a little bit of a wing. I like it. Okay, so then I am gonna line my inner waterline. Um, I'm gonna use Fascinating by MAC. It's pretty white. I'm going to use that in my waterline. Okay, so next I'm going to put on some lashes and then we'll be back. Okay, so next I'm going to go in and line my lower lash line and I'm going to use that same shade, uh, the Leader. Is that the color? Leader? That's weird. Leader, and I'm going to use the 212 brush by back. This color is really pretty for people with green or blue eyes because it has so much red in it. Next, I'm gonna go in with a little mascara and I'm gonna pop that on my lower lashes. Okay, so I talked about this mascara, MAC Upward Lash, in my 2015 favorites video. Um, since then, I have found another favorite mascara. It is the um, Chanel Le Volume Mascara. Is that the name of it? It is amazing. Like, it is seriously amazing. Where did it go? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where'd you go? Oh my gosh, where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, oh, oh. There you are. Chanel Le Volume. Le Volume de Chanel Black Mascara. This stuff is amazing. Like, 
This upward lash is a really great thickening mascara. The Chanel is really great lengthening and thickening. They're both amazing. If I had to choose though, I'd actually have to say the Chanel is a little bit more of my favorite now. I wish I had discovered it before I filmed that video, but I discovered it recently. If you haven't tried it, try it. Actually, I discovered it because in that video that I posted, a couple of you, a couple of you guys mentioned the this mascara in it. You were like, oh my gosh, it's so great. Um, and so I went and bought it, and you were absolutely right. It's amazing. Okay, for blush, I'm going to put on a little bit of... I'm going to use this uh, Too Faced Love Blush. What is Love and Love Hangover? I've been obsessed with mixing these two together for a good, perfect blush. One's more mauve and one's more like peachy, so they make a good combination. Okay, I have to step away from the blush because I get carried away really easily. Okay, the next I'm going to apply a new product that I just picked up. Why is my nose tickling so much? It's tickling. Um, I picked this up yesterday. It's the Hourglass Ambient Strobe Powders. Is that what they're called? Strobe Lighting Powders by Hourglass. I just got this yesterday. Um, and I, I used it today. Actually, I was going to the gym and I felt like putting this all over my face for the gym because I just wanted to try it. Um, I got the one Incandescent Strobe Light. So they come in four different shades and they're basically supposed to replicate replicate that type of light. Um, so on the stand they actually have a sponge that you can apply the powder with but I like to use a brush. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of using sponges to apply powder products. I'm not. Um, I like brushes. So anyway. They're really pretty though. This is my first day using them so I can't really give you a full review. I just put them on this morning but again I went to the gym so I can't really tell you how well it wore because I sweat like a pig and then I came home and took a shower. Okay, lips. For lips, I'm going to do a really pretty poppy pink and I'm using the Lippy Stick in Westie by ColourPop. This is a pretty like, like bubblegum pink shade. Usually every time I wear this, I put something down on top of it to kind of calm it down, which I'm going to do today. It's a very, very, very cool tone, bubblegum pink. Okay, and then to kind of neutralize this and tone it down just a tiny bit, I'm just using this Naked Gloss. It's called Sesso. It's more like a rosy kind of shade. It's got more brown in it. And I'm just going to put that on top. This actually came in um, Naked on the Run palette that came out last year or maybe the year before. It was in the palette. And I don't use it too much. I don't know why, because it smells really great, and it's really glossy, and it's pretty, and it works really well with almost everything. Okay, I'm feeling like my brows need something else. I feel like my brows are not enough. I'm just going to put on a little bit of this Tinted Brow Mascara by NYX. And that wraps up this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you guys enjoyed this different style of video for me. Um, let me know in the comment section below if you did. Um, I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day. I hope I get this up before Valentine's Day. I should. Today's Monday. Valentine's Day is Sunday. I should get this up before Valentine's Day. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.